It's November 2nd, 25 degrees. A perfect high pressure day. And I am stuck here on the ground. I screwed up this morning. My watch GPS was still set to Michigan time, which is a 20 minute later sunrise. So I thought 8.14 was sunrise half an hour before that to get shooting light half an hour before that to get set up. Well, when you're cutting 20 minutes of sunlight, that makes a big difference. I need to get in the tree. o'clock uh, I normally sit in the tree till about an hour after the day winds pick up just in case there's a bedding shift or in this case a little bit of seeking I haven't seen any seeking and I haven't seen any uh, bedding shift and the day winds picked up at 10 o'clock so I'm gonna get down I'm gonna leave all my stuff in the street because this is where I plan on going tonight so I'm gonna get my stuff out go get some lunch play with the dog shoot my bow See you guys this afternoon. Oh, by the way, I go back to work tomorrow, so I have to shave my beard. So I'm gonna look different, but I'll be here. All right, look at that. Nice and shaven, cut off literally 11 months of hair. It has been cut since within those 11 months, but only twice.
small bucks a little confused. He might be the same one from this morning. I'm not sure. I only caught him out of the corner of my eye. He was running down that tree line and stopped right where I walked in at, so I'm sure he grabbed my crown son, but I'm worried about that guy. Just gave him an education for two years from now, but today I'm not worried about it. Pretty sure that's not the same deer that small buck was chasing. I thought it was a spike, but could have been her, I suppose. It's the bad thing about self-filming is that you're either going to grab the camera or your binos. I'm kind of obligated to grab the camera a lot of the time, so there's some information that I would be receiving from these that that screen doesn't give me until I go back home and watch it on the laptop and then I'm like, oh, that's what I saw. There's pros and cons. But it's two or three deer and it's 3.30. And she's just moseying on up here. I could put another dough in the freezer but it is November 2nd. I don't know if you want to really shoot a doe right when the rut's about to start. You kind of want them in the area. You know, I've read a lot of studies on that. If you're going to take X amount of deer a year, and this is my belief, if you're going to take X amount of deer a year, which for Casey and I is four to five, this year is probably going to be five to six. If you're going to take that many deer a year, that's a predetermined number. So if you're going to hunt the same general locations, which we do, and it really doesn't matter if you shoot a doe before or after the rut. But if you're trying to keep bucks in the area, the before might make a difference. And we haven't shot any doe from around here, so maybe there's a reason for that. Maybe it's unconscious. <clears throat> really wants to find the lady. just got up into that bedding area. I'm sure there's dough up in there, but what I'm curious about is if a mature or three-year-old, I'll take a three-year-old, mature buck pushes him out. I'll debate a three-year-old deer. It has to be a really nice three-year-old. 
We got some bangers on camera in this area. So, I'm not wanting to be a target buck hunter, but an opportunity and is opportunity. And we are called Field of Food. We do need the deer meat. because I keep watching these leaves fall and they're just starting to get a little motiony. We're in the same direction all afternoon and now they're starting to swirl around. I don't love that, but I'm still seeing deer and nothing. Scooch yet. There's a couple of bucks up there. Up in the bedding area. One of them's posturing. He's got a big body. But I can't tell about his rack. He's acting like he's mature. I'm not sure. Just starting to lose camera light. But that was an absolutely incredible evening of deer movement this morning was okay but this was awesome that buck that was up top never really showed himself again he didn't look all that big in the binos but that's 200 250 yards maybe it's kind of hard to tell just how big a buck is if he's, unless he's a giant so i don't think he was all that big but again november 2nd we're just getting started.